an abusive behavior that can lead to violent behavior. It is the most enduring and underrated problem in our schools today. It's an imbalance of power between the bully and the victim. Pick on somebody else for no apparent reason. Well, for reasons, for little reasons, like they may be a little bit different than you, or they don't wear, they have the same things you have. And have you ever bullied someone? I'm not sure. I've never intentionally bullied someone, but I witnessed bully happening. And you done what to stop it? Um, when I was in middle school, I uh, mature physically. I'm I mature quicker than other girls. And when when I was twelve, um, a boy came by and snapped my bra, and um, I felt violated. But I didn't know what to say because he was bigger and he was a boy. So for me, that was a, an act of bullying. And I, I will always remember that because I didn't know how to defend myself. So growing up, I know how to express myself when people do something that doesn't make me feel good. Okay, so, and what is bullying? Yeah. He's on top of the box? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this no more. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, you, you know, like E.T. on crack. When your, your mother's so nasty, when she take off her panties, it look like, it sound like Velcro. I tell everybody, one of the best things for us to do is always treat people the way you like to be treated, as we want our family members treated. And you have to respect the different styles that others may have, the different styles, ideas, mindsets that make the world a colorful place to live. So much because you have nothing else better to do. You feel insecure about yourself, so you bully other people. Bullying is, like he said, picking on other people because you might feel less of them or you might feel as though you're better than them, so it gives you the right to pick on them. Okay. And I am a victim of bullying. Um, in elementary school, like first grade, second grade, and third grade, um, I was picked on a lot about my size and my Do you looks. think the victim never stand up for themselves? Um, I think they don't ever stand up for themselves because maybe sometimes they don't know who to go to or they feel if they say something that the bullying will be worse. Um, and they don't feel like it, anything. Something, I don't know what bullying is. You don't know what bullying is? I don't know what bullying is. There's so many ways that bullying can, that people can be affected by bullying and so many different types of bullying, so it's kind of hard to explain what bullying is. What type of bullying? Cyber bullying, physical bullying, verbal bullying. Mm -hmm. so, so you recognize there are different types of bullying? Yes. Have you ever prevented any of these types? Yes. In a certain way, I have prevented it. Uh, verbal bullying, I was in the middle of things. Um, even when it comes to fights or a group of people getting another person idea. They use your mouth for a stunt double for dog shit. <laughs> they use you for a stunt double for gay porno. <laughs> Millions of people get bullied every day don't say nothing. Man. At the end of the day, that caused the people to commit suicide, kill themselves, you know, and they can have a harsh effect on their lives. So bullying is a major part of most people, you know, life. Yeah, what he said. I would say like yes, I make I make fun of people, but I haven't like you know did it to hurt them. I did it on purpose, but I wasn't like to hurt them. You know, I wasn't calling them. You pull in all the time. Why do you think it happens so frequently? Fight back in a positive way, not like actually fight them back like if they hit you you hit them back no fight back in a positive way by like spreading the word letting them know that it's not cool to be a bully you know what i'm saying or basically just tell them i don't know what your problem is like would, would you want to be me or something you want to like, have something like that and, you know you just walk away and then you just look at bullying is a crime a crime that could lead to you going to jail if you're being bullied Please let someone know. You can let me know. I can be reached here at the school. My number is 202-563-6862, extension 147. 
I am Officer Tracy Cannon, Metropolitan Police Department School Safety Division, SRO for Thurgood Marshall Academy. Thank you.